my sister Gretel. We are lost and looking for our way back home. By any chance, have you guys seen a small wooden house by the river? Hmm. You guys are very far from home. What are you doing this far from home? <laughs> hey, don't you worry now, Gretel. We will drop you to home. We just need to find the old witch's house made of candy, get the ancient recipe, and we will be on our way in no time. The old witch? She tried to eat us! But she's dead now. What? what? Whoa! How did this happen? It's a long story. Let's get your recipe. I will tell everything on the way. We live outside the large woods with our dad and stepmother. Dad goes to town to sell the wood, but it's not enough to break bread every day. Stepmother doesn't care for anyone else rather than herself. Four weeks ago, me and Gretel were playing outside the house. But then, we heard loud voices started coming from the house. We don't have enough bread for everyone. How will we survive like this? <sighs> I don't know. I just want everyone to be happy. Do you? I certainly am not happy. Are you? I do all I can. Tell me what you want to do. I will do it if it makes you happy. Hmm. <laughs> I will tell you what we can do. We can leave your kids in the deep forest. No! Anything but that! How can you ever think of that? Then we will all die of hunger. Is that what you want? <laughs> Tomorrow, I will take your kids to the deep forest. I will tell them I need help gathering wood. When they get tired and fall asleep, I will come back home and leave them there. <laughs> but wild animals will eat them alive! <laughs> That's their fate. <laughs> Don't you cry, little sister. Everything will be all right. What will become of us? What will we do now? Oh, don't you worry. I will think of something. Children, come inside and take your bread. For the last time, you little rats. <laughs> Here, this is all we have for dinner today. Go to your room and eat. Yes, yes mother. mother. do about it. Hansel, aren't you going to eat your bread? No, I have an idea. Wake up, Ch 
children. Hurry up. We need to go to the forest and get wood. Isn't Dad coming along? No, your father is sick. Cry, little sister. I have left a trail of breadcrumbs back to home. Let's look for it. We will be home in no time. Find a place to stay. Ma'am, me and my sister were lost and were very hungry. And when we saw your house made up of candy, we couldn't stop ourselves. You sound like a lovely little boy. Come here, kid. Poor little kids. You are so skinny. Why don't you come inside my house and eat whatever you like? You can always leave in the morning. The two shall not 
and escape. I will have my feast. <laughs> some pearls and gold because we think mother and father will be happy and we don't have to worry about food ever again. I am so impressed. You guys are very brave. Look there! It's the witch's house! Sugar, could you please call the ship? In the meantime, me and June will get the recipe.
smells so bad in here. Jack, there! We found the location of your house. We'll be there in no time. We have the recipe! Let's go, guys! Mother would like us back. I am sure everything will be fine. Guys, we have reached! What is that? Sugar, come have a look! Is it similar to your spaceship? Let me see. It has all these numbers and clocks on it. I think it is a time machine. Really? Do you know how to work it? No, Joe, wait! Joe! Oh no! Where did she go? You can bring her back, right, Sugar? I don't know. Let me try. Oh! What was that? Are you alright? Are you alright? Yes, yes. You wouldn't believe it. But I had actually gone into the past. Wow! What did you see? When I reached, I found myself outside houses in a village. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you tell me where I am? Why, it is the king's village! Thank you, ma'am. I thought I would go to the next house and ask for help. When I looked in from the window, I saw a girl called Cinderella. Cinderella lives with her stepmother and two stepsisters. They are really mean to her. They make her do all the work of the house and hardly let her eat any good food or wear good clothes. But Cinderella is always very nice to them. Oh my god, Cinderella! Don't pretend to work! Yes, look at how dirty the floor is! Mother! Mother! See how Cinderella is keeping the floor dirty! Stop being so lazy, Cinderella! And do your work properly! 
Yes, stepmother. And don't forget to go to the market. Yes, stepmother. Tonight, there will be a royal ball at the palace in honor of the prince's 18th birthday. The prince will choose his bride-to-be from amongst the guests. Every maiden of the village is invited to the ball. Stepmother, stepsisters, did you hear? There is a royal ball at the palace tonight. Of course we've heard. The whole village has been talking about it for weeks now. Isn't it exciting? And everyone is invited. That means I too can go. <laughs> you? Who thinks the prince will choose you? With those rags and that hair? Don't you dare think of going to the ball and humiliating me, coming like this. Yes, stepmother. I will dress up properly for it. But mother, what if she dresses up? Don't be foolish, sister. Where will she get good clothes from? I shall wear my mom's dress. I'm sure stepmother will like it. It won't embarrass her. Didn't I tell you not to come to the ball dressed in rags? But stepmother, these are not rags. This is my mom's dress. Oh, aren't these rags? And what do you call this if not rags? <gasps> Stay here and finish all the housework. Yes, stepmother. Who are you? I am your fairy godmother, Cinderella. Stop crying, my darling, and get ready for the ball. Oh, but how will I go for the ball like this, fairy godmother? Don't worry about that. Thank you, Fairy Godmother. But how will I go to the ball? I am very late. Don't worry about that. This is so beautiful, Fairy Godmother. Thank you. Just one more thing. And a word of caution. You must return home before the clock strikes twelve. That's when the effect of the magic will wear off. Yes, Fairy Godmother. 
I will take care of that. Then what happened? I don't know. The next thing I knew, I was back here. Please send me back. I too want to go and see this. Let me try this again. Our clothes! We can't go inside wearing these clothes. Look there! We could use those! May I have this dance? It will be my pleasure. Who is she? She is so beautiful. The prince isn't even looking at anyone else. Who is she? She's so beautiful. The prince isn't even looking at anyone else. Who is she? She is so beautiful. The prince isn't even looking at anyone else. <gasps> I must go! Wait! What's wrong? Wait! At least tell me your name! Now what will happen? Ooh. Should we go tell the prince where she lives? Would he believe us? There must be a way. Madam, we are looking for the girl that this glass slipper belongs to. The maiden who wore it to the royal ball yesterday is the prince's beloved. Could it belong to any young girl from your house? Yes, yes, it belongs to my daughter. Could you ask her to try it on, please? Oh, try it on. Oh, yes, yes. Girls! Girls! Yes, mother. Yes, mother. Yes, stepmother. Madam, which daughter does it belong to? Which of them is the prince's beloved? Me! 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 Oh, no! Oh, no! What have you done? None of you ill-mannered ladies could be the fair maiden from last night's ball. The prince will be heartbroken. There is no way to find his beloved now. Kind sir, I cannot bear to see the prince sad. It was her? <gasps> it was her? <gasps> it was her? 
My lady! At last, we have found you. Please come with us to the palace. The prince awaits you. Oh, wow! Cinderella's life has changed forever. I am so glad she had the other slipper. I feel so too. But now we must head back, guys. It is time for us to go back home. Let's go!